If you want to know where a space comet is, then this video is the right one for you. And now it's time for me to sleep. What was that? Luna, are you okay? Earth, I'm fine, but I was about to sleep then. This thing, it came in front of me and, it's, and it gave me a jump scare. What was it? Oh, oh that's just a comet. A comet, huh? Hey! What is that? You don't know what a comet is? Well, I'll tell you. A comet is a celestial object composed of ice, dust and rock. It orbits the sun. However, when a comet gets too close to the sun, the ice melts or sublimates. Oh my. Creating a glowing head called a coma and sometimes a long visible tail of gas and dust. These tails always point away from the sun. The coma is primarily composed of gases, dust particles, and ionized molecules and radicals. Um, do you know what a nucleus is? No, I don't know what that means. So, a nucleus is the solid core of a comet, typically 1 to 10 kilometers. 0 0.6 to 6 miles, by the way, across. Wait! How do comets even form? Comets are formed from leftover material from the early solar system, primarily ice dust and debris. They are thought to have formed in the cold, outer regions of the solar system, specifically in the Kuiper Belt and the Oort Cloud, where temperatures are low enough to allow ice to form. As these icy particles collided and clumped together, they eventually form the comets we see today. I would ask if the comets we see run out of ice, but we did enough explaining. Oh, you want more? <laughs> I'll tell you after the comet. A comet does eventually expire in ice. In some cases, all the volatile ice just boils away, leaving a remnant of dust and rock. Right, and how big are they anyway? Comets come in a wide range of sizes, but generally their solid nuclei are small, typically ranging from a few hundred meters to tens of kilometers across. Oh, that's cool. And what will happen if they crash into you? Let's talk about something else, shall we, Luna? 